What's up? It's Sherelle Unique here, and I'm here to do a review on Praise This. So, this is the 2023 version of Fighting Temptations. So, in Fighting Temptations, the lead character was Beyonce. Now we have Chloe Bailey, and we know that Beyonce is Chloe's mentor, and her career has been mirroring Beyonce's career. Um, I believe they're trying to set her up to be the next Beyonce. Um, which is fine. Beyonce's in a new chapter of her life. And so, I mean, you know, let's go. I feel like this movie was fun and lighthearted and hilarious. And I love the music. And I was entertained. I liked it. I liked the movie. Um, it is PG-13. I'm going to get into why in a few um i would compare it to like the big mama's house the um madea's family friendly light-hearted fun christian-based movie um some of the celebrities that i saw in the movie was jacaylin carr phenomenal gospel singer check out her her um song you will win corinne hawthorne won't he do it <laughs> that is my jam um we have chloe bailey like i already mentioned um we have michelle williams country wayne um I really, 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 really enjoyed um, the supporting actress, Miss Washington, Angelica Washington. Hopefully I pronounced her, her name right. She was very funny. She was very funny in this movie. She did a great job. I enjoyed her. Um, another piece of why this movie was so funny uh the two church ladies were there God, you know they were like gossiping and making little funny statements in the movie throughout the whole movie i really enjoyed them it was great they reminded me of those two um old muppets <laughs> you ever watch the muppets and they had statler and wardoff wardoff and those two old men Muppets, and they used to just talk trash. They were real can cantankerous, and they just used to talk trash <laughs> throughout and just roast everybody. That's how these two ladies were. It was it, They were hilarious. Um, I enjoyed them. All right, let's get into some of these topics. Why was the movie PG-13? So there is some... Um, light cussing and some light adult topics that are mentioned um chloe bailey's character um plays a girl who is fast easy so you know they make a reference to her being a hoe um there's a reference to only fans um there is some cussing in the movie light cussing um you see the d word the S word and the A word are said in the movie. So that is why the movie's PG-13. There's some light, you know, hip hop dancing has some gyrating in it. Um, so you see that um, midriffs, which I only mention these things because I come from old school church. Old school Kojic church where we could not do that in church so with it being a gospel movie a christian movie um i just want to make mention of that that there is some of that in it but i don't think that there's anything where um young kids could not visually watch the movie um yeah don't think so it was fun it was playful nothing crazy um, as far as music goes, if you are looking for Richard Smallwood, Donald Lawrence, you're not going to find that in this movie. 
if you want the old school choir sound. And when I say old school, that's not to be um, judgmental or it's not to be a negative thing um, at all. Because I love the traditional old school sound. And, and most, I don't want to say most, but a good number of people in who listen to gospel, they like that too. So if you're looking for that sound, you're not going to find it. This is more of like Christian hip hop um christian pop of today that's what you're gonna find so that's what this movie is kind of based in so um if you like toby toby song is is reference they redid a lot of secular songs and flipped them and made them into gospel songs so like savage by meg the stallion and um beyonce they redid that they redid god's plan um they redid um money by cardi b one thing by a marie like they re redid them and flipped them quavo i forgot to mention quavo very important character in the movie um quavo actually did um some gospel songs on the soundtrack as well so check out the soundtrack the movies the music is great performances are great so it's really entertaining in that regard um yeah i want to make sure i'm not missing anything pressure by Ari Lennox is another one that's remade. Um, there are some talking points here that we'll get into in a few, but before I get into them, I want to say that the fashions were, were on point, very new school, new age. Um, everybody looked current, fresh, looked, everybody looked cute. Hair was popping, okay? I love the natural styles. Um, I loved um, the weaved looks, the colors, all of that. Ja'Kalen Carr, girl, every single scene I saw you in, you had a new look. <laughs> and for the most part, I loved it as far as the hair and makeup and stuff goes. Um, all of that was fun. All of that was great. Now into the talking points. If you want to take some topics to talk with your family or your kids about after watching it, you know, you can talk about forgiveness in this movie, redemption. Um, you can talk about grief and uh, uh, grief comes up, um, clout chasing, um, self-worth. Um, yeah, it's a number of topics that can be talked about. Peer interactions, bullying. Um, yeah, it's a number of topics that be, can be brought up that can be discussed in the movie. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun and not to be taken too seriously. So if you are very disciplined about what you watch, everything needs to be very, very pure very, very, um, completely, completely clean. If you're particular about that and, um, what your children watch, then you may not, this might not be the movie for you. If, um, these things that I mentioned are just fun, lighthearted things to you, that's not taken, that's not, um, offensive, then check out the movie. I think it's a movie that church goers and non-church goers can go, can watch and would enjoy um yeah that's it that's my review my name is Sherelle Sherelle Unique hit the like button hit the subscribe button let me know what you think in the comments um if you enjoyed this movie um what your thoughts are so I'm out <laughs>